Welcome to Politics Done Right. I am your host, Egberto Williams. This is the progressive program that will take the mystery out of politics. This is the program that will encourage you to make sure government becomes we the people. Whether you are liberal, conservative, or otherwise, you get to air your point of view. Remember, you can also send me a tweet to E-G-B-E-R-T-O-W-I-L-L-I-E-S. That is at Egberto Willie. Let us engage. It is politics done right. One, two, three. Well, folks, happy 4th of July. It is a great 4th of July because we are going to make it a great 4th of July. Welcome to Politics and Right. I'm Egberto Willis, your host. Let me tell you, this is a very abbreviated version of Politics Done Right. I just jumped into the office, processed a video with uh, Rashida Talib that I want you to see. And because you know what? First of all, this morning I got up and did my patriotic duty and went and did the Kingwood, Texas parade where I marched with or, or paraded with the Kingwood area Democrats. And we had a ball out there, came home, took a shower, processed the video with Rashida Talib, a progressive representative, one of the five that I'm really, those five women that are really taking care of issues. And I want to show you how she handles issues. Like I said, this is, this is an abbreviated version of politics done right. But because... Look, I have a 4th of July picnic to go to with the Kingwood area Democrats buddies. I got to do my civic duty with our good old progressives out here in this part of Texas. But anyhow, Donald Trump decided that he was going to throw a big, a huge 4th of July party. I put a request out on my Facebook page. I asked everybody, please... Do not watch any of it on TV. Do not participate in any 4th of July activity for which Donald Trump is responsible for. There are so many organizations, so many of us are having our own personal barbecues, our own personal picnics. We're out in the fields doing our fireworks. Do not support Donald Trump in this vanity affair because it what it does is it creates, he, he is normalizing too much. And in said normalization, other presidents may get cues on how to control one's mind. So let's make sure and control his mind. Do not participate in any part of the 4th of July celebrations that he is responsible for. As well, do not watch it on TV because we do not want those ratings that, nor, that he can go ahead and say, Oh, look, everybody was, if they weren't there, they were on TV watching it. No, I haven't turned it on. You know, when I got home and was chilling from all the heat from the parade, I decided to go ahead and watch Food Channel and saw some very good foods getting made. But folks, Rashida Talib, she put it in the best perspective as far as what Donald Trump is costing us by having this particular vanity, uh, vanity uh, 4th of July celebration. Let's remember one thing, okay? This is important. When I hear a lot of politicians on TV talking about his event, one of the things that I hear a lot of is Donald Trump, he's politicizing 4th of July. He's, he's making it a political action. Well, you know what? All politicians politicize everything. So you have to make a better argument as to how evil what it is to do by bringing the military who you have 100% dominant control over and forcing them to come out and have this huge display with the commander-in-chief, somebody who is a chicken hawk, who decided that he had a bone spur why he could not serve in the military, so that he will preside over all these heroes that get themselves killed for all of us. Rashida Talib put it in perfect perspective. So I want you to listen to this, and this is how we need to have unowned Democrats, unowned progressives, unowned every politician speaking power to the president and supporting the people they really need to support their constituents and the constituents of others. Here we go. 
quickly before I let you go, I want to get you on the other big headline of the day, these July 4th celebrations that are set to happen tomorrow here in Washington on the National Mall. Uh, word this morning that taxpayer money in the form of $2.5 million of National Park Service entry fees are being used to help fund what the president is calling the Salute to America. Uh, do you believe that the president could, in fact, put on what aides tell me will be a nonpartisan speech? Uh, and is it okay for taxpayers, some of whom want to support and celebrate the military, to foot the bill for this? You know, you know, you know how the president needs to celebrate the military? Fill those vacant uh, positions within veteran affairs that involve health services to our veterans. And I can tell you, just a month ago, people that actually, veterans that voted for him, uh, said to the, they were shaking their heads, saying, how is he doing this when we still have some of the longest waiting periods for veteran appeals, for veteran services? I have veterans in my district, in 13 congressional district, that have to wait months before they actually see somebody that can help them with their mental issues, with their health services issues, some that need home care. I mean, he needs to focus and put the people first. This is not okay. a company, Mr. President. This is the federal government. This is government that's supposed to be about people. This is not a marketing uh, department within some sort of company. You are not a CEO. You are president of the United States. Start acting like it. I don't think she could be any clearer. And I don't think that that message is much better than politicizing the 4th of July. The message that she's given is there are a lot of people in need. And how much money, how much effort did it take to have a 4th of July master event like this funded by the government as opposed to taking that money? You know, if you can go to any streets in any city or rural area in this country and see veterans who are having PTSD and other problems living on the streets, they cannot afford to have a place to live in. How much? How many of them could have been taken care of with that two point something million dollars to put that this that vanity display on for the president? How many of those uh, people could have been taken care of at the VA hospital? How many things could have been done with the effort that they are putting with this particular vanity fort? Of July celebration. You see, like I've mentioned in several other issues, whenever they whenever these are whenever we are about to do things for the president, whenever we're about to do things that's vanity, whenever we want to do things that help corporations, we are always able to say we're going to do it, we will find the money. When it is time to help those who really need help, when it is time to help the refugees that are coming to the United States because of policies the United States have effected in Central America and South America. America, when it is to help our veterans who went and fought wars, came back injured both mentally and physically, and now they live on the streets or now they live in pain. We can never find the money. We fight about it. When the 9-11 workers went into a place that was told, they were told, this is not unhealthy, and they worked their butts off to help bring New York back up, to lift New York back up, and we have a Congress run by Republicans who refuse to pass laws permanently that that saved these heroes that ensure these heroes are taken care of but whenever we want to go to war there is never a question we can whenever we are to protect the bankers is there ever a question we pass the laws whenever we are supposed to do anything that supports anyone other than the middle class and the poor, we can always find the resources for it. Folks, today is the 4th of July. I am going to be leaving this program in the next two minutes to go off to a picnic with my fellow Kingwood area Democrats. And you know what we're going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about progressive values and how do we effect? How do we choose? We have different candidates that we support. How are we going to choose the best candidate that best represents not Democrats, that best represents America, that best represent the values that we all need? So I want to tell you so kindly, happy 4th of July. I trust that you will have a wonderful rest of the day. I want you to go out and have fun. Go out there and eat the turkey. Go out there and eat, well, you know, I'm going to get me a turkey leg with, uh, with salt, gravy, and pepper. Go out there and enjoy what 4th of July means to you. I had a lot of friends on Facebook say, I don't feel like celebrating the 4th of July this this year because of how things are in the country, because of who leads us, because of who our president is. Don't worry about that. We don't let evil change us. 
we give love and make that abound. Happy 4th of July, and I trust that yours will be as nice. I trust that you will have the same wonderful 4th of July that I intend to continue having. I started with a parade with a lot of fun, and in my red district, Kingwood area Democrats walking down in our red district with our Kingwood area Democrats sign proudly with the applause from many, including many from the other side. We don't mean to be divisive. We don't mean to be anything but to be Americans going out there and doing a good deed. And today is also my brother-in-law, who was a, an officer on an aircraft carrier for decades supporting this country, Vicente Gill. I want to wish him a very, very happy birthday. I don't know if he's watching today, but I hope he is, knowing that politics done right wants to tell him. Happy birthday. And to my listeners, a very happy 4th of July. I'm going to my picnic. Love you all. Let's get busy and have fun. My name is Egberto Willis, and this is Politics Done Right. And guess what? I am what? Out! Welcome to Politics Done Right. I am your host, Egberto Williams. This is the progressive program that will take the mystery out of politics. This is the program that will encourage you to make sure government becomes we the people. Whether you are liberal, conservative, or otherwise, you get to air your point of view. Remember, you can also send me a tweet to E-G-B-E-R-T-O-W-I-L-L-I-E-S that is, at Egberto Willie. Let us engage. It is politics done right. One, two, three.